the first Thanksgiving feast was okay, so I'm gonna make a really hearty Thanksgiving dinner for my friends and family, also the governor of butter. The best way to make something really special for Thanksgiving is to fold the turkey in half. And then just throw it right in the kitchen. You can make it with organ meat or not even bother cooking at all. Now the oven is where the onions live. So if you want to use the oven, you'll have to put the onions in the middle of a stream. Sorry, onions. It really thickens up with pigs moving in the pan, so just let them do their thing. While cooking, continually wash your hands in the piping hot juices of the bird. This will make your fingers flavorful with turkey liquid and keep you as clean as a damp child. As the famous chef Bobby Snack says, mmm, the food is absolutely cooked. Jokes aside, let's return this roasted turkey into the wild. It's the classic Thanksgiving potato flesh. You will have to sift through a colander of the Dutch to find all the gold potatoes that you need. Is the stove on? If it's not, don't bother. Bake as many potatoes as possible until the potatoes are easily pierced with another potato. Shrimp wine with a little bit of gray air really makes it flavorful. So good, so sharp, mom's going to say, what's the turkey for anyway? Try it, it should taste a little bit salty. I'm tasting it now. And I am gonna feel really good for about two minutes. It's the Thanksgiving story. The onions and the potatoes are all together for this dish. The feast of flavor and texture is all done. The best recipes are huge amounts of Thanksgiving history. I love the way it smells like homemade understanding.